Good morning, guys. All right, we are set up on top of this uh, glassing point this morning. We we're on hunt number two. Um, unfortunately, the other guys, nobody tagged out. We had some misses. We had a bunch of opportunities. It just, if something can go wrong, something went wrong. But this hunt, already starting off way better than the other one. We've got a pretty good buck found. Um, he's a stud. We're gonna sit here and watch him until he's he's got probably eight or nine does with him right now. He's kind of dogging. We're gonna sit here and watch him for a little bit and wait for him to go bed up somewhere. And then we're gonna make a game plan and put a stock together. So, man, what a relief to finally start seeing some good deer. Fingers crossed it stays like this. We got a storm moving in. It's uh, Thursday. We got a storm moving in tomorrow, sometime late tomorrow, tomorrow night. We're supposed to have snow or rain Saturday and Sunday. So I'm hoping that helps us more and not hurts us. It should help us if it's a good storm. So. <sighs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Finally. All right, see you guys in a bit. It's really tall. Yeah, he is. All right, guys, the stock is on. He just left. He's going to drop off the backside here and shoot across this flat. And uh, when he gets over there far enough, I'm going to hold him up and we're going to try to get in on him. So, fingers crossed. I am not going on this stock. <laughs> so, I'm just going to stay perched up and hopefully walk him in. Cool buck, cool, cool buck, so. I don't know why I always say so. It drives me nuts. I rewatch these videos, and it's like, so, so. Cool buck, so. We're gonna do this, so. I hate watching myself. <laughs> I just nitpick the shit out of it. I'm sure you guys get tired of hearing stuff get repeated, too. I'm a, I'm, I'm a dumbass. Alright, as you can see, we are all in the rover, heading off the mountain. And that is because I screwed up royally. <laughs> I, uh, I'm not used to having a guy that can cover country the way he covers country. So I was going back and forth, I had the binos on him and the spotter on the deer. And I looked and I had him in one spot and the deer were starting to come off the hill down so I had him take off to the right and I was going to set him up to where the deer would hopefully come down and funnel right past him. And I watched it, I was watching the deer and I go back to look for him and I can't find him. I, I couldn't find him anywhere. I was up and down left and right and those deer come down and stop right in some little trees and uh, next thing I know they're turned around and heading right out. He was maybe 20 30 yards just below them and I didn't I didn't even know he didn't know where they were at because where he was at looking on that hill it's pretty thick so he's relying on me and I dropped the ball big time but we didn't spook him too bad they really didn't know I think they heard something more than actually seeing or smelling I know they might have caught a little bit of movement but they went up the hill nice and gradual and, and started feeding we had a car drive by up on top of the hill the other hill they went on or side by side or something and they bolted from that but they didn't bolt out of the canyon that we're hunting because of us so we're gonna go back regroup go uh, do some grocery shopping for the week and come back and do it again i might have these guys sit water tonight and then i might get up on that hill see if i can relocate that buck and if he's if we've got enough time before it gets dark and he's in a stockable spot i'll just run down and pull one of them off the water and we'll, we'll try but see you guys in a bit and later okay guys it's uh been late morning all right yeah and we're recording late morning we're at the Safeway here. Gonna do some grocery shopping and uh, 
Get some good food, so we're ready. We don't have to eat garbage eat out all the time. All right, guys, we made it back from grocery shopping. We got some uh, lunch stuff over here on the table. Filled the fridge, got steaks, pork chops, veggies. Got the broth cooking for lunch right now. And uh, we're gonna eat some lunch and get ready to go for the evening hunt. Afternoon hunt, whatever you wanna call it. So, excited. This has been, so far it's just kicked off great. And uh, a lot of promise, a lot of promise. So, should be a good seven day series here. See you guys uh, in a bit. Alright guys, a lot of breath. I just got done climbing up this hill to get on my lookout spot here. I just dropped Casey and Corey off at uh, two different waters. It's been hot enough, long enough now since that last storm. Pretty much all the puddles that have been in the roads, in the washes, anywhere that was holding water is pretty much dried up now. And uh, we got another storm moving in, but it's been warm pretty much every day so I figure we're gonna try water out um, after this morning stock and that rig busting those deer I really don't expect to see them tonight so I'm uh, I'm kind of hoping that something that we haven't seen yet shows up on water um, and possibly picking something up we haven't seen yet so we're gonna sit here till it gets dark and just glass and glass and glass until our eye sockets hurt. And uh, listen for the radio, see if the boys hit anything or get a shot. I can actually see Corey's water. I can't see Casey's water. Both of them have a whole bunch of deer track around them, so. Fingers crossed. This is day one, afternoon. So, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I just turned over here to the water that he's sitting. And, uh, cause I seen deer just running to it. And he's got, looks like five or six deer sitting on it right now. There's some trees in the way. I can't see the whole pond, but two of them are like 10 yards away max from where he's sitting. Oh, I wish there was a big old buck on there right now. That'd be so cool. Alright, there's some more. I'm going to glass down there and see what else is in there. Looks like seven does total, not one buck with them. They came down, took their time, ran around, drank, and uh, now they're heading right back into the trees. Damn. I was hoping there'd be a rutten buck with them. Let's hope more come in before it gets dark. Okay, good news, the uh, the big buck we put that stock on this morning just stepped out of the tree line with all his does. The bad news is he's too far away and we don't have nearly enough light to do anything about it. Nothing else has come to the water yet down below and I don't know what um, Casey has seen on his water at all. I'm not going to hit him up on the radio or anything. I figure if they shoot, if he shoots something, he'll hit, he'll let me know. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming back out, man. I was, I was a little worried after that rig went by the way they spooked out of there. I didn't think we'd see him again tonight. I figured they might hold up tight in the, in the thicker stuff, but he came out. All his does come out. He is running, running one other one doe ragged right now. So we'll be right back here in the morning and uh, hopefully we can get a stock put on. Casey's going on tomorrow's stock on him. And uh, fingers crossed we can get him set up and get an arrow in this stud. So let's uh, get back to glassing. What's up guys? All right, we made it back to the ranch house after the evening hunt and uh, we we're cooking dinner. And it looks pretty good. I'm pretty hungry. Got the pork chops. Top it with some uh, bit of salad, some fresh green salad. 
and uh, probably some other type of salad so I don't feel like a fat ass for eating pork chops. So, <laughs> or too many pork chops, but. I'm gonna finish cooking here and then get the video edited for tomorrow and uh, relax and talk hunting, see how everybody did today. So, see you in a bit. All right, what's up guys? Dinner's eight, dishes are done. Um, it's time to get in the shower, relax, make a plan, wake up early and go at it again. We're gonna try to uh, get a guy in position this morning before, um, <clears throat> hopefully before sun up. That way, when they're making their way back to bed, we can cut them off. There's just so many does. We don't, I don't feel like we can uh, put a stock on once they bed down. So we're gonna try to cut them off and uh, take advantage of the buck being um, distracted basically chasing that one doe around like he was last night or tonight you know so I'm tired it's time for bed and uh, we got a big day tomorrow so good night um, please like subscribe comment and I'll see you tomorrow later <laughs>